Hello guys, it's unit 4, part C. Partograph, which is also known as partogram. And the definition of this is nothing but the graphical representation of data that is observed during the labor. And this graphical representation is generally found in only single sheet. It is useful for monitoring the labor and finding the difficulties earlier. And mainly it is also useful in referral interventions and observative process. Now what are the principles of partogram? Partogram principle if I read now maybe you can't understand but further on the explanation you will definitely understand. Just listen now. During active labor, active labor in the sense when the labor is going on and that time the rate of cervical dilation, cervical opening, cervical dilation should not be less than 1 cm per hour. Per hour it should not be reduced less than 1 cm. That is the main principle of partogram. If it reduces less than 1 cm, then absolutely the delivery is going to be an abnormal delivery. It should undergo C-section. This is how the partograph looks and these are the elements that are seen here. First is fetal heart rate. At the time of delivery, the fetal is inside the mother's womb. At that time, they will place the sensor to find the fetal heart rate. And this fetal heart rate is actually detected per hour. From this point to this point, it, this gap is per hour. Each hour, the fetal heart rate is checked and marked and this graph is formed. This is about fetal heart rate. Second is amniotic fluid. Here amniotic fluid is also checked per hour and here C indicates clear. The amniotic fluid which is releasing from the vagina is clear. There is no problem related to amniotic fluid. The principle we saw regarding the partograph is here. That is, the cervical opening should be 1 cm per hour. That is, for 1 hour, it should open 1 cm. Here is an example like 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. We have the graph here. It was 5 and then after 1 hour, it is 6 and then after 1 hour, it is 7. So, the graph goes this way. It is normal. If it is not opening 1 cm for 1 hour, then it is an abnormal delivery. For example, for 9 o'clock it is on 5, for 11 o'clock it is on 10. Like in 2 hours gap it is opening 1 inch, then it is an abnormal delivery. We need to do C-section. Here there is two lines. One is alert line and other is action line. And the gap between these two lines are 4 hours. Okay. None of the delivery will actually prolong to 4 hours. From here, we will start marking our delivery progress, like how the how it is opening. This line indicates the warning sign. If the line is moving downwards, like for 2 hours, the cervix is opening 1 inch. For 3 hours, if the cervix is opening 1 inch, the line never goes upwards. It keeps on going this downwards. It will go almost near to action line. When the line is going towards this action line, then we need, we need to take the action. That is the warning sign. That's why this line is played here. It is all about this cervix. That is nothing but in normal delivery, it will open 1 cm per hour. That is for 1 hour, it will open 1 cm. And next there is a contraction. And this contraction is checked per 10 minutes. Generally per 10 minutes, 20 minutes, they will be checking the contraction. If the contraction is not enough, we will provide oxytocin recommended by doctor. Okay. And there are other drugs also provided during the labor and that will be noted here. And next, pulse and BB. And next, pulse and BP will be marked here. You can see here. This. This marking is BP and this marking is pulse and the temperature per 2 hours the temperature will be checked and next urine urine volume will be observed regularly what are the benefits of partograph by using this partograph the c section that has been reduced and the child motility and morbidity rate has been decreased and it is useful for the study purpose and normal delivery rate has been increased these are the benefits of partograph Questions will be provided at the end of the chapter. Until then, stay tuned. Meet you in the next video. Bye.